Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the Baseball Mogul Guy, here to play the 1957 season in Football Mogul 2022. So as we get the NFL season underway, we'll play the first month, basically the first four games, see how the standings shake out here. Four games in, the New York Giants are leading the East Division with a record of 4-0. Behind them, Cleveland, Pittsburgh is 2-2, and and then Chicago, Washington, and Philadelphia are all 1-3. You move over to the West, Los Angeles and Baltimore are 3-1. and Chicago's 2-1-1. and San Francisco is also 2-1-1. and Green Bay is 1-3, and, and Detroit is 0-4. Oh we look at the league leaders at this point. Johnny Lujak is leading the NFL in passing yards. Johnny Unitas is not far behind him, though. Bob Mann in receiving yards, Paul Lee in sacks, and Dub Jones leading the NFL in rushing yards. We play the next month, the next four weeks, basically. And New York and Cleveland are tied for first over here in the East with a record of 6-2. and two. Pittsburgh right behind them with a record of 5-2. and two. Chicago's 3-4, and four. Philadelphia 3-5. and five. Washington really struggling this year, a record of 1-7. Los Angeles is 6 and 2, Chicago 5-2-1, Baltimore 5 and 3, San Francisco 4-3 and 1. Green Bay and Detroit are also really struggling with a record of 1 and 7 between them. We play until the trading deadline, which is I think just another week or so. And at this point Cleveland is 9 and 2, Chicago is 8 and 2. We look at the league leaders. There we go. Johnny Unitas is leading the NFL in passing yards. Dorn Dibble in receiving yards. Jim Winkler in sacks. And Lenny Moore is leading the NFL in rushing yards. We play until the playoffs. The Cleveland Browns, with a record of 10-2, and two, won the NFL East. I think New York was having a great year, but they faded the last bit of the season, towards the end of the season, they faded and actually finished third in the East. Cleveland surges, win, wins five in a row and wins the East. Chicago ends up passing Los Angeles to win the West. The record of 8-3 and one tie is what saved them. So we look at the league leaders. Johnny Unitas, 2,703 passing yards, came in first in the NFL. Joe Perry for Pittsburgh led the NFL in rushing yards with 776. He also had, I noticed on there, he also had 14 rushing touchdowns. Great season for Joe Perry. Rex Bogan, or Bogan led the NFL with eight and a half sacks, defensive, right defensive tackle for the 49ers. Third season from Mississippi. Dorn Dibble led the NFL in receiving yards with 1,049. Good season for him. Bob Mann, if you've watched several of these videos, you've seen his name a few times. Uh, 1,000 receiving yards for Bob Mann. And so, now we are ready to go into the playoffs. The Browns and the Bears. And we play through the playoffs. And the Bears, wow. Stomp the 10 and 2 Cleveland Browns by a score of 27 to 3. Just wasn't even a close game. The Bears scored two touchdowns in the first quarter and never really looked back after that. It was 14 to 3 at the half, and then the Bears come out in the second half and put another 13 points on the Browns to just stomp them 27 to 3. Look over at the individual stats. Carl Samuelson. Samuelson for the Cleveland Browns had two interceptions and 10 tackles. Cliff Lewis had nine tackles. You look over here on the Chicago Bears side, uh, several interceptions, two sacks, really good day. Skeets Quinlan had 242 total yards, two touchdowns. Big, big day from the running back for the Bears. 339 total yards for the Bears to only 136 for the Browns. Yeah, and the Browns also, in addition to all that, looks like had three turnovers 
Well, no, the Browns had four turnovers and the Bears had three. So very a fairly sloppy game, seven turnovers overall. But the Bears just dominated the time of possession. They ran the ball, and the Browns could not stop it. And so, congratulations to the Chicago Bears, the 1957 NFL champions. We renew contracts and let all that take place. We let the college draft, college draft start. I like to go back and look at who some of the players near the top of the draft were. We had a wide receiver go. We had John David Crow go to Washington out of Texas A&M. Looks like he's going to be a good running back in the NFL. Bobby Mitchell, running back, went to the Cardinals. Bobby Mitchell out of Illinois. We go forward a round or so. Don Maynard went to the Lions. Gene Hickerson, I've heard his name before. Went to St. Louis. Yeah, so some really good players in this draft. And uh, and we'll see how they do here in the coming years. But that has been this year of Football Mogul. In 1957, the Chicago Bears win it all. So congratulations to the Chicago Bears in 1957. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do football mogul. I'm doing baseball mogul. I'm doing some sim actual simulating individual games in baseball mogul. So if you like all this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and you'll see more content along these lines. Until next time, this has been the Baseball Mogul Guy, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.